Welcome back everyone, I'm Craven and this is Cold Steel 3. We are in Orcus Tower and we're not done here yet. We're about to head back to camp, check up on Yuna and make our way to Stargazer Tower. But for now, let's see if we are allowed to go topside. Is the elevator working or is this where we're gonna go? I'm guessing we're not uh, gonna use the elevator. Well, complaining doesn't do any good. I'll keep working as hard as I can, if only for the sake of our citizens. Well, that's the minimal you can do, and that's true. There's no need to go this way. Well, there might not be a need, but I might still wanna go. <laughs> Alright. Mm, yeah. I guess. I guess that's it, isn't it? Means we have to head down Station Street. And then accept uh, going back to camp. Ah, so our plan to head back to the camp and then it's off to Stargazer's Tower. Shall we get going? Uh, head to the field, yes. I think we've done everything. We've talked to everyone, we found even a side quest, we did that, completed that, and well, we grinded a little bit in the geo front, so I think we're good. Yeah, let's go. Our rights are at the south uh, gate. Please, follow me. Very well. Lead away, my good man. Oral bikes. I assume these have been mass produced by the RF? Yeah, they were just released this spring. If we remove the sidecars, they'll be much more maneuverable. Hmm. I don't want to steal Elliot's spotlight, but they'd be perfect for a little musical tour of sorts. <laughs> and they would be even more exquisite with a lovely beauty in the sidecar. Hmm. Perhaps I'll invite Shara once everything's been cleared up. Ooh. I wouldn't mind seeing her again. It's been way too long. Come on, how am I supposed to plan around something like this? <laughs> He's always around, isn't he? Major Lecter. Ah, oh, it's you. Ah, oh, come on, Swartzer. I know you usually get some unconventional help, but with your government request, but I, I don't know about this one. Well, I suppose I understand where you're coming from, but even so, I'd like his help. Reen. Hmm, I'd rather not hear such objections from the most unconventional member of our little club. I hear that the debaucherous Prince Oliver has rented out Michelin Wonderland all to himself today. Perhaps you should uh, head there yourself and frolic with him, eh, Michi? <laughs> yeah, I'll think I'll pass. I'm pretty busy myself, so I'll let it you be. Stay safe out there. Swatcher, a word of advice. Watch out for the wings on that purple Aeon. If it's the like the one before, it can fire a flurry of tracking beams. But with your Ashen Knight, you might be able to do something about it. Hmm. You. A moment. Since I have this chance, I'd like you to relay a message to the Chancellor and Rufus for me. Though my wings have been stolen and my blade lost, I yet have the gun and the rose kept safely in my heart. If you lose your way and take this nation in a poor direction with you, I shall send you another message. That's blatantly a threat to the Chancellor and Rufus. Like, if you step out of line, I may not have power, but I will shoot you myself. <laughs> your Highness. Message received, Your Highness. <laughs> With that concluded, let us away to the field exercise camp. Okay. Yes! 
Yeah. He's got uh, a feel for dramatic, doesn't he? <laughs> Is there any chance you reconsidering, your highness? No, no, my name is Olivier, the hunter of love. Do try to remember it. I've more or less done right by the intelligence division, so don't even worry, little head over. Such a trifling matter. <laughs> Man, you really haven't changed at all, your highness. <laughs> oh, I simply cannot believe the trade conference was two long years ago. Seeing your face again. I think it was only yesterday. Oh, but as for dear sweet Tida, it's been four years since you and this humble bard last met, hasn't it? It's just simply too long. Yes, I agree. You, Estelle, Joshua, Agit, Shara, it really seems like no time has passed since we all stormed the flying city together, huh? Uh, we mustn't forget Princess Claudia and Zin were with us too. Ah, but what cor Confection could match the sweetness of fond memories with dear friends. That that seems like quite the story. Oh, it was. It definitely was. Yeah, but uh, we'll have to save for another time. So let's head for Stargazer Tower. How are Yuna and the others doing? Still pretty bad, but I know they'll get through it. If you guys are going to move out, all of us here to branch campus will back you up. Isn't that right, Major? <coughs> yes, 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 I have no objections. We were able to secure a track route leading in, so there should be no issue preparing that, correct? Yes, thank you. And uh, thank you too, Tina. Of course, and we're all set. For someone like me who was never in a single place growing up, Crossbell's the only place that's ever felt like home. It is so frustrating that I can't be the first one to run and help. Thinking about them losing their freedom makes me feel like I'm going crazy. Randy. But I'm lucky that I'm part of a branch campus because I can still help out in some small way. I'll back you guys up with everything I got. Serene, your highness, and everyone else, please save my home. Of course. Hmm, your home will be safe in our capable hands. I've wanted to thank him this whole time, but I couldn't. I couldn't do anything to save my family. I felt so powerless, and I ended up pinning my frustration on him. And that's what led to this. I see. I understand now. Yuna, you just want Instructor Reen to acknowledge you. <laughs> I think I'm the same. When I accompanied him on his missions, I was tasked with monitoring and supporting him. But he treated me like a child, kept risking himself to protect me, and took on all the burdens himself. I felt so useless. But that's just how Reen is. He wants to protect everyone. I'm no different. All I've wanted is for him to recognize my sword skills. I know I still have far to go, but I feel like what happened in Sutherland helped me grow, at least a little. Yuna, I believe this is your opportunity to grow. Huh? Instructor Reen left you a message. I'll play it now. The members of the special support section are, without a doubt, heroes. I can't help but think each one of them are truly great people. Him included. But are you okay with simply looking up to them forever? Right now, they're trapped, unable to protect their home. So who's going to be the one to protect Crossbell in their absence? Hmm, 
Are your our preparations complete? Yes. Now we uh, make for Stargazer Tower. You know we're up against, so we better be ready for them. You're right. I believe in you guys, Kurt, Altina, and Juna. Yeah, we are ready to move forward, but there's still something I want to do, and that's just talk to everyone here. Uh, we see one scene uh, in their flinger car for. I can already imagine who that is. Oh, <laughs> why, if it isn't a traveling bard coming to visit our camp, it's a pleasure to meet you. Wait. Does she recognize him? Oh yeah, she does. <laughs> I think so. Oh, it's you! I've heard so much about you from my sister. The pleasure is all mine. I am the wandering bard known as Olivier Lenheim. I believed you to go by... Musée Ygret, was it? <laughs> Precisely. Well, of course. Oliver, disguised as Olivier of course can recognize another person trying to come over as somebody else. Ergo, music. <laughs> and of course the familiar connection between uh, her and his sister. It was definitely a good chance that they knew ab at least about each other. Oh, so long as you remember my name, I'll be sure to remember yours as well. Olivier? Hmm? Mm, certainly, but I must admit, I'm impressed. Perhaps you might speak again on another occasion. We could even make it a special lesson taught by the one and only Seeker of Love. <laughs> well, that sounds delightful. If Instructor Reen's the one given the lesson, I'd love to attend. Oh no, that's not... Reen, who is this girl exactly? She seemed rather fond of you. Well, I'm not her homeroom teacher, so I don't know much about her. But she is one of Elisa's friends from St. Estrella. Oh, interesting. Mm, there's no way that's the whole story. Totally agree, Celine. Totally agree. But we'll have to wait and just theorize about what it is. On every opportunity, something um, is let loose <laughs> about her. <laughs> I, it's truly an honor to meet a musician such as yourself all the way out here. Do take care not to do anything that might affect your uh, performance. <laughs> as you wish. Sheesh, just listen to this makes me tired. <laughs> Tell me about it. Yeah, all the manipulation, the misdirection. <laughs> all this in a few little sentences. I heard from Instructor Herschel that you used a rather unusual method to pin down the society's whereabouts. Chief Plato, the other members of the old class seven, even yourself, Instructor Swarzer. How is it that you end up with so many extraordinary people around you? Well, that's because we played a lot of games before this. <laughs> I am not sure how to answer that. <laughs> I guess uh, you could say it's just part of its charm. Hmm, partly. Oh, I talked to Jessica, but we decided to leave Juna to uh, Kurt and the others. Please be careful, everyone. We'll do the best we can here. Oh, oh I'm, I'm glad that we finally found where the society's been hiding out. Th this is it. I it's do or die. We, we of the comms team, along with the tech team, will support you in every way we can. I know you guys will. Don't worry. I didn't expect to see you here, your highness. But uh, we're glad you came to help. <laughs> oh, you can always count on me to lend my aid to those in need. But I'd appreciate if you could just call me Olivier. I'm sure you understand. <laughs> oh yes, of certainly. Very well. Thank you for your assistance, Prince Olivier. <laughs> he couldn't help adding the prince part, huh? Nope, he could not. Uh, this gets back to my superiors. 
And how am I going to tell Principal Le Guin? I, I'll need to think of an excuse. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't want to get court-martialed uh, over something like this. Oh, Sandy, I got a gift for you. C could it be the real Prince Oliver this? Hmm, oh, don't mind me. I'm nothing more than a traveling musician. Nice try. I would never mistake the prince. <laughs> I see. Well, I take it you're a huge fan of mine then. Yes, that's exactly it. Well, she's really pumped about this. Uh, well, in any case, both my parents were big fans from a while back. So, I guess you could say I was a fan from the moment I was born. From a while back? Hmm, the princess only recently made its view at parties. Yeah, I heard the only thing uh, known to the public was his name. <laughs> I see. In that case, how could I do anything less than uh, honor you recognizing me? I, Olivier Lenheim, shall give you a mini autograph. Wow, thank you. Well, aren't you well prepared? Prince Oliver's autograph? Oh, I'm going to treasure this forever. It's not the princess, it's a musician's. Hmm, that just makes it even more rare. And yes, we got some seeds. Oh, you brought some seedlings. Yes, please take them. <laughs> thank you. This is just a small thank you gift. Thank you for giving this to us. Oh, no, 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 no. I shall be thanking you. Please keep up the good work. Yeah, and uh, considering those were seeds, I almost forgot to pick up. I'm glad I found them, though. Wouldn't want to miss anything I can help, of course. Alright, the infamous car for... that yeah the recording he left for her this morning oh was that your little scheme how clever honestly listening to it now it's kind of embarrassing uh, but once she heard what I have to say the decision is hers alone I'm sure I should do the right thing let's not disturb them yeah listening to your own voice and you're not used to it yeah that can be really disturbing it really is I can remember the first months of me listening to my own voice while editing the videos. Yeah, you just can't help but be embarrassed about yourself. You get over it, because you get used to it, but still. <laughs> Alright, let's talk to our big old buddy. Hmm, I see we have an especially interesting visitor today. I send something... You must be of the Arnor bloodline. Ah, so you can tell, huh? Hmm, I'd heard rumors, but I didn't think it could speak so eloquently. I believe the last we met was on the Courageous after the Civil War. It is a pleasure to see you again, Velomar. The feeling is mutual. Oh yeah, I'd forgotten you two had met before. It almost feels like you two know each other from way back. It really does, doesn't it? <laughs> it really does. I didn't expect to meet uh, with a descendant of the Arnor here. In any event, the battle is at hand. I will prepare myself that I might be ready at any time. Oh, I'm guessing we are going to need you at some point. Yeah, and we'll... Uh, Velomar also get these nice... Uh, very, very useful uh, boosters. I'm uh, going to help with adjusting the new equipment too. <laughs> well, I get where Pablo's coming from. What should I enhance? Still old. Come again. One. Ah, time to bust out the new equipment, huh? I guess it's gonna hurt to be too careful. Either way, we've done all we could. If uh, things kick off, we'll just wipe them out. <laughs> Thanks. Is 
steal all the old stuff. Good. Be well. Hmm. Stargazer Tower. And <laughs> that's probably where the Aeon is. Yeah, that's what we suspect. In that case, the new equipment might come in handy. Yeah, I can leave this to you, right? Oh, yep, everything is ready to go. I just need to find the right moment to put the plan into motion. Thanks, I'll be counting on you. New equipment, huh? <laughs> I wonder what it is. You can see by looking at it, it's definitely some sort of booster. Well, Reen seems to know what's up. I don't know the details, but I guess we'll have to wait and see. Mm -hmm. I'll help. Yeah, always looking out for this. Having said that, um, there was one store that I still need to buy something off. I gotta remember just to get that in between episodes, because there was in the department store one of the goggles we could buy that was part of a trade build-up that's gonna be later and I'm pretty sure if we move along and we go to the next chapter we're gonna go to a new area we need to make sure we get it because even with the uh, heavy uh, well I think it was lag part we got at the uh, weapon store I think we missed the first stage of it and I want to make sure that we get all these kind of uh, specific accessories so at the end we might be able to make one or two of the special ones that we can then equip because I think at some point they're gonna be really useful. Thanks. Yeah, thank you too. <laughs> Wait, it's you. Uh, he so he noticed. Well, he did see the prince uh, only yesterday. <laughs> you must be mistaking me for someone else. I am Olivier Lenham, a simpling traveling bard. I believe your name is Ash, correct? Of class 8? Hmm, <laughs> care to tell me how a wandering bard knows that I'm that kind of invo? <laughs> Jokes aside, your terrible little brother isn't bad. But I think things uh, will get pretty interesting if you took over the family business yourself. Hmm, you think so? Ash. Hey, what's wrong, Swarcer? I'm just talking to some no-named uh, Bart about his family business. Hmm. <laughs> ah, sorry to disappoint, but I've already decided to devote my life to the pursuit of love. Someday, once peace has returned to this land, I plan to live a tranquil life in countryside with my sexy sun-kissed lover by my side, of course. Shit, I <laughs> gotta admit, that sounds pretty nice too. I think I like you. Glad we could meet, Mr. Olivert Lenheim. <laughs> it was my honor. Oh, but surely you mean to say Olivier, yes? Is this conversation even safe to be listening to? I feel like I overheard some uh, private information. Yeah, is that the kind of stuff he should be uh, saying in public? Well, it doesn't seem like His Highness is concerned, so it's probably fine, right? Sheesh. The branch camp sure has some real characters in it. Yeah, and we already know, of course, Olivier is probably talk about Shira as being uh, that lover he wants to spend that time with. I'm sure. Because <laughs> why else would he keep mentioning her? <laughs> You're pretty interesting, Mr. Bard. I'll be looking forward to hearing you perform. Hmm, I shan't disappoint. I hope before he leaves, at some point we know he will leave, of course, he goes out with a song. <laughs> ah, Juna's really down right now. We may not be in the same class, but I want to be there for her. I guess just I have to leave it occurred. You're finally infiltrating the enemy base. We don't know what they're going to do, but all of us here are ready to back you up with everything we've got. Please, be careful. <laughs> Instructor Reen, are you hungry? They say a soldier can't fight on an empty stomach. <laughs> Let me know if there's anything you're particularly craving. As for today's specials, I recommend the new uh, roast. <laughs> yeah, thanks, but no thanks. It might be good for healing spells, but honestly, I wouldn't even want it for that. <laughs> what can I get you today? Really? 
Come on, it's not yeah, that give bad. It a what can I get you today? Mm. It isn't bad, is it? It costs 3000 HP, 300 EP. It's not a bad item. Let's make uh, five just to have it. Yeah, give it a try. Oh, hey, Instructorine. I heard you're headed to the tower thing or something. Don't hesitate to call for backup if something happens. If you need us, we'll be there in a flash. That's good to hear. Thanks. Hmm, Yuna's been slowly starting to respond to Kurt and Altina. It's only a matter of time until she's back on her feet. I just need to do my part by believing in her. Yeah, that's all you can do at the moment. How did you end up with a journeying musician? Hmm, and uh, what do we have here? A sniper? I too am rather confident in my aiming skills. To shoot through the heart, that is. Would you like to talk about hunting romance? Is love something you can snipe? Yes, of course. More specifically. Uh, can we save this conversation for another day and not with students, Olivier? Hmm, hmm alright. Combat tactics will prepare for backup on our end. We're not just gonna leave and let Orbors go on whatever the hell they want. Of course not. Right, we're going to stop them no matter what. As for Uni, she'll be better before you know it. Just you watch. Her perseverance is as strong as steel, plus there's no way she'd take a loss like this lying down. Randy, you really trust her, don't you? <laughs> oh, their bond is truly one to behold. Yeah, because he is a cross balance and they're part of his home. Oh, aren't you a cute little thing? Uh, <laughs> Olivier, you know he's a boy, right? Of course, I appreciate beauty in all its forms. By all its forms, does he mean anything and everything? Yes, he definitely does. So, you're a musician? I feel like I've seen you before. Well, I travel all around. It wouldn't be strange if you have. I see. This is nerve-wracking. <laughs> a little bit. You have a musician helping you? You really know a wide range of people in Structurine. That Please, he take your time. that he definitely do. Mm-hmm. That is too Come okay. again. This is it. The battle that could decide everything. Instructorine, please take this. Thanks, Tark, but are you sure I can have this? Of course. After everything that happened yesterday, I made sure to prepare an ample uh, amount of supplies. <laughs> I see. Thanks. Hmm. The branch camp is certainly is flush with talent. Six of them total, huh? He even counted me in there. <laughs> this kid's good. Yeah, he certainly is. Or he have, he sees the possibility of Reen sacrificing himself again and think, oh this guy needs six healing potions just for himself. So have at it. Now Reen, that's not even that far fetched of an idea. <laughs> Alright. We need to head to Stargazer Tower. What's the best route to uh, get us there? Well, according to Tia's map, the highway to the south. It uh, seems that that's where the forest road that leads to the tower is. Hmm, were we to uh, journey by Orwell Bike, it would be a mere hop, skip and a jump. Yeah, let's go. Alright, well, let's be sure to have a look on everything. Don't want to miss... Uh, any more photo opportunities like we did on the other road there's target tower aha there's a mark perfect could be another photo up Let's uh, try to avoid uh, these little I see things. A powerful enemy. Take caution. Yeah, so a powerful enemy too. It was about a mile away. 
Yeah, we're so fast. Really? <laughs> uh, that's okay. We'll walk the last little bit. I'm just curious to see what it is. Obtained Black Record 4. Hmm. It is that we've been back to the other place, because this is exactly where the red flower was. And we did look at the other one when we were talking to Kenneth and such, so I'm sure there's nothing there. Is it? If there is, feel free to correct me. <laughs> because it's not a story supporter, so I won't mind the hints on that front. Alright, let's get back to our bikes. And head uh, down the road uh, to Stargazer. Let's get going. Understood. There's no need to go this way, so let's turn back. Yeah, but you know me, I had to try. <laughs> Having an opportunity to go to St. Ursula? Yeah, why wouldn't I take it? Here, this is the entrance. Yeah, Stargazer Tower should be through this forest path. Hmm, it seems like it has quite a foreboding atmosphere. <laughs> ah, as they say, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Now friends, let us venture forth and gain. Anyway, <laughs> we won't be able to turn back from here. You're all ready, right? If you continue past here, the main story will progress. Please note that all quests and sub events you have yet to complete will disappear. Alright, what, uh, what I'm gonna do... Because I want to make sure that I do have all the items I want from Crossbell. Just in case that by progressing the main story we'll also go straight back uh, to Leaves. Because there is a possibility that they will continue to straight going forward. So uh, I'm going to go back to Crossbell. I want to check all the stores if they have any like unique items. Uh, <laughs> buy one or two of them. And then go back here and then we can go towards the uh, Stargazer Tower. Because I would really like to be in the tower if we end the episode. That way I can fight the enemies there a bit. Get used to them. Maybe gain a level or two. Be even more prepared for what's uh, coming. So yeah. I'll be right back. Let's get going. Understood. Alright. I'm... Back and I yes, I bought a few Take more caution. items. Spent almost 15k in uh, stuff, random stuff that I found in stores, just to be sure. So we're ready to move on along to Stargazer Tower. Oh, the first path that leads to Stargazer Tower. This is the point of no return. You're all ready, right? Yes, yes. Now I'm now I'm for sure. Let's go. <laughs> all right, let's go. Right. Earlier. But are you okay with simply looking up to them forever? Right now, they're trapped, unable to protect their home. So who's going to be the one to protect Crossbell in their absence? Seriously, he's always so. <laughs> I know that already. Does he really think I need to hear any of that crap from him? <laughs> from the sound of it, we're ready to go now. We already have the location, so... We? You say and Ash? I wouldn't mind, because I, I like those two in my party, if only for the orders. Come on, we wasted enough time here. Let's get going already. Huh? <laughs> you say and Ash? What are you doing here? Got permission from Randolph to tag along. As for me, I asked Instructor Toa to assign me as your support. 
I would have come too if I were able. Me too. Oh, if only I was able to fight. Louise and Jessica are one thing, but... How long were you two listening? <laughs> well, I'm guessing the entirety of the field camp was listening in. Good. She's getting her fire back again. Reen and the others drove through the dark forest road for some time, eventually arriving at an ancient tower nestled in the heart of the forest. We're not allowed to go through the forest ourselves? I wouldn't mind that. It's just to see how much it's still alike. Maybe we can go back. <laughs> ah, so this is Stargazer Tower. It dates back to the Dark Ages, but this feeling... Stargazer's Tower. Yes, I remember it very clearly. What is this? There's a strange sensation on the back of my neck. Well, it seems uh, it's so strong, even someone without spiritual senses can feel it. Yeah, and that's why they're here. To power up their... Uh, well, their own night. <laughs> oh, there's no doubt about it. All of the mana and crossbow is being drained to this location through the spirit uh, veins. Indeed, I feel it as well. It radiates as a pale blue. Perhaps with a touch of scarlet thrown in as well? Your Highness, you can tell? Hmm, both you and your sister have a surprising amount of magical power. It is because of the ancient blood of the Arnor line? Hmm, that certainly seems uh, to be the case, though I know little of the particulars. Ah, so that thing perched on the roof is that Aeon from last night, correct? Oh, it is. Yeah, though it looks different from the gigantic one we fought in Hamel. Yeah, this one is more nimble, I think, I guess. The other one's more like powerful. Well, it seems like it's a new model of the flight uh, type Aeon that was used to destroy the Republic's army. I guess it can't really do much without the Septarian powering it. Yeah, but. That's probably why it's here. They're trying to get something equivalent to their power. But if it charges up enough mana, then it can just about be as powerful. Alright, all class 7 and the guest uh, assistants will now begin our search of Stargazer Tower. Our main goal is to reach the Aeon on the roof and put a stop to its supply of mana. Everyone, give it all you've got. Understood. Right. Yes. <laughs> and with that, let us go forth and conquer. Yeah, I still haven't decided whether or not I like uh, Olivier in our party. I have fought with him in the Geofront. But yeah, his healing ability is really nice. But I also look like to have the Accelerator option there with uh, Machias. Hmm, I haven't seen his uh, Ashcroft though. He has one, right? Yes, a Kishik uh, star. And golden sphere into bullets raining down on the enemy. Hmm, this tower is quite a mysterious atmosphere. I would have liked to come here to visit outside of a crisis. Yeah, there's something alluring about this historic place like this. Maybe I'll take a landscape photo for Vivi. Alright, look good. I'll send it to her later. No, let's send it to her now. Let's see if Vivi likes what I've taken. So green. Oh, hey Vivi. I just want to give you a heads up that I'm sending you a photo. Reen sent the landscape picture to Vivi's Arcus. Now, let's see. Oh, wow, nice. I'll send you your reward. It should get there by tomorrow at the latest. I hope you like it. I'm sure I will. Thanks, Vivi. Now will be a good time to give Rosine an update. Hello there, Reen. You found some new records? Yeah, I sent you what I have for you to analyze. Reen sent the artifact content to Rosine. Very well. I'll start deciphering them. Leave it to me. You won't have to wait long for an update. Understood. Thanks. 
Well, that should be it. All right, let's go in. Let's see what. Oh, oh. I did say I wanted to go Should back to see fail. if we go through the forest. That's my cue, I suppose. Oh. I'd prefer to not miss a chance to stretch my legs a bit, but Thor's Military Academy, Class Seven. Show me just what you can do. He does like his mask, uh, doesn't he? Yeah. I still have in my head that that's Crow. Just because the whole mannerism, the mask, his voice. But what if it's someone else just looking like him? Yeah. It's not that I don't want him to come back. It's just that if he too comes back, then what does that mean? <laughs> If everyone can come back alive. There. <laughs> How's that? <laughs> How's that? There. Oh, well, we'll see. At some point, we'll be confronted by him. If not in Call of Steel 3, 100% in Call of Steel 4. But I'm sure it's going to be somewhere down uh, the future chapters. It does look different, but they still have the same vibe to it, doesn't it? This is a tower. Hmm, but what's that weird light flickering at the top? It's mana in physical form. The higher elements must be at work here. I'm impressed it's still this active so long after serving its purpose. Hmm, yes, well, the alchemists of old weren't ones for building anything less than impressive. It made for an apt battlefield between the SSS and the Stalwarter during the Civil War. The, they fought here? Oh yeah, the chief did uh, say that once. Hm, Randy uh, told me about it. Dufali led the charge against them until their lord uh, made an appearance. The Steel Maiden, the seventh anguish of Ouroboros. Hm, I've heard similar stories. Fortunately, we're in the clear. Reen, if you want to use your powers here, I'll pack you up. But it's up to you if you actually want to. Thanks, uh, Celine. As long as you don't overexert yourself. Hmm, alright. Loves, let us fly forward. Let's begin the search. Let's do. Alright, there's a healing point here. Good. Let's explore a little bit. Because we know we have to go How's outside that? at there. some point. There. There. How's that? That. Take them down. Second form, scale. Yeah, we're just gonna now find like we have uh, CP for days. Because we're just gonna assume that uh, by the time we're gonna reach the Attack. end, there's gonna be another charge station anyway. Yes. Analyzing enemy unit. Yes, you do. Leave it to me. So you got a decent amount Keep of uh, HP left. Molten storm. Now, Reed, let's go. Leave it to me. Yeah. I'm going. Uh. It's my turn. Huh. All right, nice work. Ooh, they had quartz. Nice. How's that? There. How's that? <laughs> A lot of destructible uh, stuff here. What's the arrow arrow on the map? Take them down. Yeah, kind of creepy enemies, but um, yeah. we can deal with it. It's down. It's mine. Analysis complete. Mm -hmm. Yes. You won't get away. Molten storm. Now, Reed, let's go. Got it. 
Damn. Yeah, we just gotta make sure that by the time we get to Leave the to end me. of the entire tower, they're prepared Perfect to chance. fight whatever there. Meaning full ZP, full BP. It's my turn. And just go straight for it. Now's our chance. I'll see to this. Sorry. But there's a good chance that we have to fight Campanella and McBurn. And of course the uh, Aeon unit uh, after that. Everyone okay? Alright. How's that? <laughs> there! Oh, that's a crack. Well, we could technically there, jump there. that, but um, I guess that? the game wants there. us to explore a little bit more places. Oh. <laughs> How's that? How's that? Now's our chance. Ah, oh, still uh, connected uh, to each other. Right, let's burst it. That's a big enough group to do so. Leave it to me. You won't get away. Molten storm. Now's our chance. An opening. I'm going. Analyzing enemy unit. Analysis right. complete. Death Slugger. Yes. Oh, I just like it for your U material. May you rest in peace. Fire! It's my turn. Let's go. Sit. Now. It's mine. It is. My turn. Now. Now's our chance. An opening. Yes. No. I'll see to this. All right, pretty good. Came to see me. It's my turn. Ooh, death blows. Crimson slash. Now. Ah, uh, partly uh, susceptible. <laughs> Leave it to me. There. My turn. There. Yes. Yeah. It's my turn. Having a cold hellish cannon, I expected a it's little down. bit more impressive than that. It's mine. Leave it to me. There. Yes. There. I'm going. Yeah, and this just shows you there. how important it is to use Let's your cross in combat because just normal hits, it just Everyone takes okay? a long time. Great way to uh, regain CP. A lousy way to defeat enemies. Yes, there it is. And the level goes higher, which somehow I did expect, considering it's a very early level 5. Ooh, restore CP when HP is low. Uh, CP plus 200, one time per battle. Nice. Because basically that means that if I'm about to be killed, fully restore CP and instantly go into the S-Craft and save your hide. Good. So, how many more levels will there be? Six? Seven? I can imagine it's going to level 10. That would be too insane, but we'll see. But it does mean that if at level 5 the last ability is unlocked. Very interesting in case of Mobius then. Alright, got it! Right. How's that? <laughs> there. Let's pick back up the crack oh, chest. There's some treasure. The holy swear. Nice. Oh no no no! Too many tentacles to uh, attack from the front. Now! 
Let's go, everyone! Leave it to me, understood! Sit! Fire! <laughs> Yeah, we also have no reason to you hold back for our scans. Molten storm. Now. I wonder if it's going to be like uh, even more monster yes. types that we've seen before in Stargazer Tower, because I don't think these tentacle ones were there. The uh, bombers, definitely. Dark blade. Please. Now's our chance. I'll see to this. Yes. May you rest in peace. Fire! I'm up. Yes. I'm going. <laughs> I'm up. A zero order. Sure. Uh, oh yes, elegant walls. Art EP reduced to zero. Hmm. That is a good one if you just want to uh, spam the living daylights uh, out of uh, magic spells. But something is very susceptible to it. I wonder how expensive it will be. Probably four, because it's, it's, it's really decent. Let's go! Raging fire formation! I'm up! <laughs> to roll. Really? Oh well. Now it's my we turn. have instant death uh, coming towards you. Leave it to me. There. Now. Oh, it's not even activating. It's protect against death blows. Let's go. Crimson slash. Now. It's mine. Yes. Dark blade. Please. Now's our chance. I'll see to this. As a bomb. I'm up. All right. Nice work. I'm getting again a nice big old stash of you materials. How's that? There. How's that? Uh, I should find a place to call it for a day. Mm-hmm. Just wanna see what's up ahead. Ah, still so so many towers. Well there's an Orman charging station in the tower at some point at least. Ah, there it is! There's the enemy I had in my head. This one looks frightening. Like the strong enemy. Yes, it looks frightening, so let's get some extra advantage. Ooh, yeah. zero arts. Now! Let's go, everyone! Leave it to the understood! Huh. Yeah. There! My turn. You won't get away. Molten Storm! Now's our chance! An opening! Yes. Oh, there's a shit ton of HP, so after this fight, we're probably we gonna try to avoid them if we can. <laughs> Not because we can't take them, it's more that it's, it's, it's just taking you know, it would just Analyzing take a long time. Unit. Analysis complete. Yes. Alright, Vorpal. Unless their uh, gifts are really, really potent, like a really nice court, then in between the episodes we might find a, a few of them. Just to get it. Look at that, with so, so much damage potential, we still didn't take them down. Go up in flames! Fire! Now! An opening! There's one. Yes. There. Should have used the art. Damn. That is strong. Crimson slash. Yes. 
Dark Blade. Please! Now! I'll see to this. My turn. <laughs> Nothing that will uh, go in front. Light! Shine over us all! Good luck! Thanks! Now it's my turn. May you rest in peace! <laughs> yeah, I keep like forgetting that? that it restores our uh, CP and HP, but after the moves and not straight away. It's like a region, so yeah. Ooh, Petrify and Adamant Shield. Not bad, not bad at all. Alright, so that's going to take us outside. And this side is just for two chests. Ooh, zip it. And more U material. Good. Yes, and I still need to go down for one or two more chests, but let's see if out here is where we're gonna find the charging station. Finally, some daylight. Is the camp that way? I wonder how Class 7 is doing. We've placed our trust in them. They'll be fine. There! A lovely sentiment <laughs> from one Class 7's heart to another. Oh yes, they'll definitely be fine. I have no worries about that. Alright, but uh, it does seem that we are only halfway here, just like the original Stargazer Tower, so I'm gonna leave the episode here, and next time we'll finish going to the top and meeting whoever is up there. So, for now, I wish you a great night, morning, day, wherever you are, and if you're still here, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and be back next time, as I fear we're gonna fight Campanella and McBurn again. So see you then. Bye-bye. <laughs>